Hello there. Today I'm hoping to look at what I hope is going to be a great value example of a fairly typical Reserva Rioja. So I've got a bottle here of Campo Vieco's 2016 Reserva. Campo Vieco, one of the largest uh, producers in the Rioja region, um, founded in 1959. They're, they're owned by um, Pernod Ricard, large international winemaking group. Um, they, they have their headquarters in uh, Lagrono, where their current winery was built in 2001. Uh, their wines are popular, they're um, distributed worldwide, they're, I think they're over in over 70 countries. Um, so it shouldn't be any trouble in, in getting hold of one, a bottle of this if you wanted to taste it. Um, the wines are um, fermented in stainless steel tanks with uh, temperature control temperature control keeping fermentation temperatures down to about 28 degrees, um, stopping the uh, temperature getting too high, uh, which might cause the fermentation to falter and the yeast to pr produce off flavours and aromas as a result of that. Um, there's a period of about three weeks uh, maceration of the skins in the juice. Um, once the juices run off and the um, uh, skins are pressed, uh, the wine goes into um, barrel, um, this stays in barrel for 18 months. The uh, oak used is predominantly American for the, for the Grand Reserve, for the Reserva, sorry, um, as opposed to more French in the Grand Reserva. Um, but there is some French oak used there as well. The American oak tends to give more of a sort of a, a, a more overt oak nature to the wine. There's a, um, uh, quite a vanilla -y sort of um, taste to that. The um, winery takes fruit from all the three major regions within the Rioja um, uh, DOC, um, so th there may well be uh, fruit here from Alta, Alavesa and Baia, although probably less likely the Baia because this is, um, I'm not entirely sure of the blend of this to be honest because the, the label says it's simply Tempranillo, though the um, website for the for the producer suggests that there may also be some um, uh, Graciano and Mazuelo in there, but just in small amounts. So it, it, it might well be um, completely legal to label it simply as Tempranillo and still have those small um, amounts of, of other varieties in there. Um, the wine ages, as I say, in, in American oak for 18 months. Um, and then in uh, once it's bottled, it ages in the cellars uh, for 18 months more before release. Um, and that's, that's more than the legal minimum required for those um, aging uh, periods. So let's have a look at the wine and see what we think of it. Um, first thing to say, the colour. It's quite a darkly pigmented ruby red, but it's not actually that deep. I can see through that quite, quite easily. There's a medium intensity of the, of the colour. It, it throws some um, quite obvious tears down the glass. The wine has 13.5% alcohol and um, reasonable tannic content, so I suppose that is to be expected. Um, let's have a look at the aromas. The aromas are quite developed. There are a few tertiary notes coming through there, um, although I think most of it is oak overlaying um, red fruits and the red fruits there's a sort of a slight lifted raspberry um, ripe uh, red cherry note but predominantly it's actually quite a sort of a ripe sharp uh, red plum note um, um, the behind that there are there are sort of notes of cedar sweet spice um, they're, they're not um, they're not overtly oaky they're actually nicely um, harmonized with the fruit um, you've got a wine that's got, um, um, that's, a, that's a good taste here and see what we think. The wine is dry with um, and a nice tannic grip, a nice core of ripe deep fruit, that sort of ripe um, plum note that I was talking about is certainly there. Um, red plum going through to black plum. There's a lovely texture. It's a velvety texture. The tannins are very fine, slightly drying. So plum skin, that sort of thing. Maybe maybe a touch of um, 
dark cherry as well, that sort of slightly um, lifted, ripe sort of note. Um, as I say, the tannins have a sort of a dusty nature. They're fine. The, they've got a reasonable grip. Um, the wine's a mid-weight. It's 13 or so half percent alcohol. Doesn't make the finish particularly warming. There's a sort of a rich core of licoriciness as well as a, a concentration to the wine, which is which is quite nice. It's not it's not huge. It's not big and alcoholic. Um, it's medium to full-bodied, I guess. Um, but it's structured. The wine will probably last another five or six years very happily, although it's completely accessible now. Um, and yes, it's showing what I was, was hoping it was going to do. It's got that sort of uh, those oak notes in the flavour. It's got lovely concentrated fruit and a good structure. Um, you know, possibly not the most fantastic Rioja in the world, but well made, great value for money. Um, be a fabulous compliment for. Um, a lamb dish or something like that, which where the, the lovely fattiness of the lamb would play against the sort of slightly drying tannins um, to produce a, a very um, mouth-watering combination, I'm sure. So yes, that was uh, Campo Viejo's Reserva Rioja 2016. Thank you very much for watching.